Hmm. <clears throat> and a major ever-present demon that's been constant with Xeno is that they forget how many teleports they have. And when you are fighting the mirror, you really cannot be uh, dropping your teleports. Unless you do it for the super kill. Okay, right. it's one apiece both for them. both. There's yeah. two now for Xeno. Nice catch low. Oh, I didn't finish yeah. the combo. Okay. Does his third teleport relatively, actually, completely safe. Trades pressure for reliability here. <laughs> Teleports right into it. Unfortunate. When in doubt, spend against Deadpool. Here comes the strange, pretty good starting. As long as you both bar and assist, you can kill characters like Dante. Deadpool, it becomes a lot harder. Dante, I think uh, Dr. Strange is Deadpool's best, uh, best character. Here comes the reliable stuff. I think it's 146 from Mora. Oof. Goes for the risky stuff and immediately drops, giving Strange another chance here. He's going for the lockdown. Might lose Strange. Okay. Teleport up and bring it back down. Yup. There's a little scaling left too. Play Pigeon. Wall bounce. Get the extension damage. Oh, tried to use a Vortex chip. Not getting him out. Oh my god, what the bravery with this man. Aww. Oh. Oh. That normal can always be a little bit of a problem, child. <laughs> and they're both down one characters, and like three fourths of the match has you know gone away. Yeah, just goes for the life lead here, and doesn't want this anchor. Ooh, didn't use. Why did that look like it hit Virgil off screen? Or sorry, oh, no. off screen. Oh, it was a reset. <laughs> Fucking hitboxes. What are they? You are never in trouble when you have Helmbreaker. Trouble is for people who don't have large swords. Yeah, I guess that's what happens from these kind of matches. So you have Deadpool with two, let's just say a beam and a half assist apiece. Or maybe Deadpool's with, uh, you know, Jam Session, which is probably his best assist next to uh, Shrider. Unlocks the mid-screen mix. When he's out, no, oh, nah. it's a dustman. I hate to admit it, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be picking up Dragon's Dogma or using Kevin's Link. Not because I don't want to use Kevin's Link, it's because I'm just not going to buy it. <laughs> but from what I've been hearing, that game is getting perfect and rave reviews. Ooh, good crap. Good oh, that's just going for the lockdown. I think follow it up means that Bblue still has the ability to run here. Hey, 16 codes and we're only uh, 20 minutes into the thing. That's pretty good. Overhead. That was 30. So the, oh. what was it like? The jam session pushed him. He push blocked in closer to Deadpool and then he just did the cross up overhead. If you have meter, might as well snipe. It's, you're playing strange. You're not playing to uh, slowly erode them with neutral and fundamentals. You just want to cast the spell. Uh oh. No, he got caught. But uh, strange lives. Is he gonna X? Oh, let's go. Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe he's just a lost Virgil. opportunity. Now, if you ever have a Virgil anchor and you make a decision not to use X Factor, then save it for Virgil. I completely understand. The extensions. This is meter positive. Okay, sets it up. One cross. One. Oh. You didn't yeah, jump forward, that, water is expensive here. We got that Evo water. It's like $5 for a fucking bottle. <laughs> oh, what, like the $9 Evo, Evo chicken strips? 
Yeah, seriously. Okay, this is not the place to be on a B. Ooh, good blocks. Oh, was good block. Oh, it's gonna give him a chance. Never mind. Want your anti air jeepers. Foolishness, Dante. Foolishness. No, backpack. We don't use timeouts on ourselves. We use timeouts on Remora. Okay, one more opportunity for Beeblue here. Um, a little late on the read. Good stuff. Oh, oh no. It was all so cool until it wasn't. Oh. Hey, that's what Zeno. I do. Zeno took that from me. The deliberate combo decay into overhead? Yep, uh, the backdash into overhead, too. Everyone's just barring bar bullets. Alright, um... Dante is still in the advantage state here. Oh, you get the backside. Oh, Probably so close. Oh, he keeps getting these odd hits he can't confirm off of. Yeah, that's an easy confirm. Bring it in. Here comes the mix. Oh, he stayed in front. Yeah. That's okay. He doesn't really use X Factor for, you know, mostly just, you know, doing like a pillar X Factor kill. Let's look how, how much chip you get off of I. It. There you go. Alright, dead off there. One more mix. Ooh, fakes the teleport. Nah, he's got to set up uh, basically the wall. <laughs> the one time a trade isn't in Virgil's favor. You saw three, it here first. No. Ooh, got a little fancy, okay. but frame traps? Oh, just kill him, please. Please, just kill him. D, just read the book, please. Thank you. I understand why you went for the level three. <laughs> just like... It's given me anxiety, like every time, like Virgil seemed almost out of Palm Reach's range. One on the board for Risky B Blue. And we are back to Deadpool chess. Oh wow, I didn't know that too, right? Apple's coming out like hella early. She's coming out in six days. That is really fast. Look how close their meter is. Going blow for blow. Oh, that was a weird uh, blowback. That's both. X Factor? Almost meter positive on that one. Ooh, that was level one, so that's a little tricky. Oh, that's a drop, but... Eh, one more mix per character, roughly. And he's going to have plenty of X-Factor because of hit stop here. Oh! People playing with their heart, uh, please level three, people. <laughs> oh, block. Ah, oh, damn. I'm not sure what he was doing there. I wonder if it, I wonder if he did block, but it did like one of those weird cross up ones because, you know, Virgil yeah, just the first hit. randomly does that. Fingers crossed, this could kill, it could not, it did. And Luna moves on, but B Blue usually makes a tear and loser, so we'll probably see him later tonight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got a sub from Fetus to Anbu Goki. He's coming. Are we sure we got the right players on? I just don't think I could be wrong, but I think Yuli is the one who played Wesker. I can see them playing this team, though, because they're trying to figure out DXP or uh, art, where two people do a really good job of knocking them out every week. 
I'm not really sure. I've never seen Yuli not play Zero, so... Javik's team's also a little bit weird. Okay, yeah, it, structurally, not that different than the, uh, the Zero team in this case. Okay, so he plays it on the side. Okay. I just have never personally seen Yuli uh, play this team before. Mm -hmm. It's very similar in concept. Same meter management philosophy, same aggression philosophy, just less projectiles. Not that much less, though. Yeah. I'm just, like, waiting for uh, Yuli's Virgil to, like, bust out some game move. I know he can't do it, but <laughs> I'm just, like, half expecting it, you know? Is that what Super Virgil is going to be Ooh. with Shadows? He has Sogenbu and Astral Vision. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, Javik's finding the space, finds the foot dive. Caught in the pressure, though. Yep. But what can you do can against you do? Virgil with Gucci belt? Not a whole lot. You just gotta wait your turn. Hold buttons and pray. My memoir. Alright, now Jay's going to zero. This is, yeah, this is the usual Javik. Once again, I wonder this if is... Yuli would go back to zero if he loses. Probably, but I think this is the information Yuli is looking for. They're in their pocket, and playing against zero with this team probably is going to help them in the DXP matchup. Nice pick up. This... He was so close to killing before those missiles showed up. Perfect Tyrone moment. Ooh, ward kick. Face. Oh no, that was actually a good idea, but... Oh wow, nice little cross back under. A little shimmy from Yuli. You're never out of resources when you still have X-Factor. Good kill without expending meter. Zero's gone too. Now we have Doom, X-Factor, and a couple of foot dives. So smart. Yep. Probably, well, no, nah, he probably didn't need to pop that. Oh, yeah. He might have popped X, that would have killed, but. Good pick up. Three bars. He has me. all the beat. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Some interesting decisions. Uh, can you this? I don't think so. Just played bait. Pretty good, yeah. though. Jay right. taking a moment. Alright, going right back to it. Everything goes well. Just Yuli's really ready for everything you're throwing out. He knows your team pretty much inside and out. Uh, he plays against, like, what? EXP, Art, Remora, you know, at least a couple times a week. It's not like he doesn't have any practice. Okay, still has a lot of bar. It's a good start, but ooh. It's caught in the sandwich. Damn session, so. He was killed by rock and roll. It's full extend here. Not enough meter. Okay, so that time he it. actually did a full cross under instead of doing like a little shimmy. Oh, goes for a reset. Hmm. Doom comes in relatively safe. Holding back on the X Factor a little. Yeah, Yuli has only been using X Factor for like, I don't know, early game. I haven't really seen him use late game X Factor yet. Okay, missiles for pressure. Here comes everything you could ever want. Ooh. Helmbreaker. 
Alright, and down the Virgil. Ooh, and just one more. Yep. I'm going to use X-Factor. Alright, first game, 3-0 Yulies. Now, the most interesting part about this is we all know Tony Killer from the TNS series, and I think his connection to TNS is probably in the 30s. I'm going to imagine his connection to this server is like mine, probably in the 60s. Right. Nope. Almost mirrored. Defense. <sighs> nice maneuvering. Tony is moving pretty well for that launch latency. With the players still has access. Almost got an X factor. What a snipe! What a call out! Jeez. Except the names are backwards. Yeah, names are backwards. Uh, there, Kevin. There we go. Immediately has to use EX. Oh, it's caught. That bar is not getting back. Nice check. Oh, gets caught by the, uh, what's it called? Judgment Gut? One more pickup. Washing machine. Ooh, nice extension. Meterless kill, too. Not bad. Pretty, pretty clean. Wesker, no good. Oh, drop. I don't know if he could have, like, X'd and command grabbed or something when he was in those swords. Uh, Legend, could Wesker do anything in that situation? Uh, you know, the last part of that match? I mean, Mr. Wesker S. Expert there. Um, when he dropped out uh, earlier, I think he could immediately X factor and then use the projectile counter to get out. But that's pretty on the nose and immediate. Think of. Ah, okay. Alright, Z Viper is not long for this world. I would say sitting in Street Fighter uh, 6, but that's probably not going to happen. Oh, speaking of fight games, uh, isn't there uh, a Strive character getting announced? Like, now? I think there is. Yeah, I think it was. There's supposed to be a new character announced uh, sometime tonight. Right. Immediately down to the Virgil. Immediately throwing out the obvious reaction here. Oof. What a auto punish. We'll call uh, it an auto punish. Uh, I kind of want it to be jam, but I know that's not going to happen. Jammer Slayer for me. Uh, I don't know. Avengers isn't isn't talking. Kevin yeah, doesn't all, talk. Trophy talks. All hope not lost. Uh, okay, now all hope lost. Wait, one more chance. Gets the hit. Oh, that rep did not work, but this one might. Oh wow, it is Abba. Cool. Hey, is it Abba? Aba? Aba? It's probably Abba. It's a music joke. Come on, Tony. Immediately gets caught by the art pressure. He doesn't have bar, though. There's a chance they live completely fine here. There you go. Good tag. Burn stall. Oh. I'll be honest, I didn't think Abba was, you know, ever going to come back, but they didn't bring him back some, uh, uh, oldies, I guess you could say, in the season pass. But yeah, whatever. We're here to see Tony. So Kill. many keep away characters. Why can't I have Silly Cooked Girl? <laughs> if you want Silly Cooked Girl, you go play Men Men. Oh, 
This is a very scary pressure at the moment. Yeah, like, some people might know more than me that play in more online tournaments than me, because I just play TNS and yeah, Pal Swap, but... Uh, does Tony actually have any experience playing in this higher mess? Like, does he play with anyone on the West Coast or anything like that? Because I'd imagine he just plays in TNS and vocals. Wesker has a micro chance here. Ah, so he has, uh, let's say, some experience. That's okay. Tony Kilo just wanted Art to, you know, win to give him some, you know, much needed, you know, help. It, it was Tony. Them off. Oh, really? Is that what they agreed to? Yep. Honestly, um, Remora's team is all things considered sort of hype. Plus, how often do you see a Chun Li mirror? Oh, random. Does Remora have a Chun Li? Is a thing? <laughs> I wonder what it says Trish has. Honestly, Remora's team kind of looks like. Uh, reminds me of a uh, fucking EXP's. Uh, you know, Ken team, you know? Well, it's also Brian Kusagano's team, sans the, uh, Kush. Bundies. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. I'm just more surprised we got a Chun Li mirror on a random. Someone who's smarter than me in math, what is the possibility of getting two Chun Li mirrors, uh, you know, in a random all? Because I think you probably have to get the possibility out of one out of 50 characters times it by three, I guess. Something like that. So, I bet you Zeno is praying right now that he got freaking Dante on this team. It's definitely saving grace. Oh my god. We got the third strike confirms. <laughs> So it's X2, so this can definitely be a touch of death if he knows the very weird route for it. Okay, goes for it again, X Factor to get the breakaway overhead. If Ramora ends answer. up winning this, I guarantee the first thing he's gonna say to Chad is like, my Chun Li kinda sick, right? I agree with this notion. The other question I have is, after each match, are, are they going to go back to random all? Or are they just going to let it rock? Fantastic question. Oh, this is going to be just short, isn't it? Uh-oh. <laughs> I think you can optimize this to get the kill. Even Ryu. Oh, yeah. It's random. Well, the, is that allowed? Because doesn't the winner have to keep their same team? don't know. <laughs> I mean, if they have a gentleman's bet where they're going to random every single time, then I guess. Yeah, Captain America. This is the only Wait, time that I'm left gonna... team's kind of sick. Wait, Ryu Trish again? I guess there's someone playing that left team in, in like 2000, I don't know, 16 oh. Marvel, maybe? If Ramora loses with Captain America, I'm going to give him shit. How can you lose with the best character in the game? They're both going random all through the... I hope Sacktab isn't here to see this. This has got to be tra and traumatizing. Oh my god. <laughs> Remora Nemesis. Why does Remora know how to play Nemesis? <laughs> no wow. <fucking> way. <laughs> this just actually works with Nemesis too. That's hilarious. Oh yeah. Oh, that is not He's a combo round. <laughs> Yeah, that DP ain't, a, ain't invincible, though. So what is the point of that assist at all? <laughs> it, it's pointless. That's why you use Charging Star, or if you like me, you use Shield Slash. Shield Slash is better than that by far. Oh no, Tony Killer was <gasps> Tony eliminated. Killer, no! <laughs> ah, damn, TJ, huh? I'm just gonna guess the ADMS was just a bit rough for him. Mm -hmm. Speaking of just a bit rough for him, this cap is Jesus. having trouble. What do you ask? We, we, uh, which assist is useless, as Sarah asks. The one for Captain America that's a DP that isn't a DP. Yeah. 
the VP that can be punished. He went for a reset he on top did of a reset. Rebel reset. 100%. <laughs> What a check. You did that too early, Adingus. God, have you never played Captain before? Also, look here. We got uh, the anchorist of Anchor Hulks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Why did he do throw? <laughs> He's trying to. Oh, that's a ground bound. It's just Gamma Charge, X Factor, like Gamma Tsunami. It kills. <laughs> Dude, oh, you like... can Gamma Charge that. I can, feel like, I can just feel Tutamax is getting like a headache watching this. <laughs> no supers I want command grab. Remember you're listening to us while you play? Ramora types while he's playing. Okay, this is not a terrible team for Toji. Got Deadpool and possibly two good assists. I can't yeah, really get the right assist. That... This team is very good. <laughs> Is that the good assist with Shuma? I'm not really sure. Not sure. Oh, oh it's just hard to Shuma. Actually, wait, wait, he got Iron Man, Beam, and X20? That's actually one of her best assists. Bro, Ramora got two thirds of team DAP fit. Fortunately, arguably the worst part of the team. <laughs> nice convert. He oh actually has God. the Beam investment, too. I'm impressed. I think Dapnip uses uh, the whatever that other one's called. I'm just gonna use the beam at least a little. But I mean, Zeno got Deadpool. This helped a lot. The question is which uh, assist does he have on Sentinel? Kill? Nope, really close. Oh, nice. In terms of random play, though, all three of Sentinel's assists are at least usable. I won't call them necessarily good outside of drones, but they are definitely usable. I mean, on one hand, <laughs> all random's kind of funny. On the other hand, I'm glad we get to see uh, X-23. I think she's a really neat character. She's just not good. used at all. And I think Wolvie Laura is actually pretty good in Palette Swap. <laughs> oh yeah, just, she's kind of the same thing, like no one uses her. What in the world? Uh, he tried to do Dirt Nap. Not that. Um... <laughs> Just for more missing that much. I'm trying yeah, to do a raw liberation. Trying to and grab. Come on, Dino. We need one more match of this. I honestly thought that was gonna miss for just like a hair of a second. Okay, um, one up on the board. <laughs> you know, we get one more random pick here potentially. <laughs> Okay, spin the wheel. Why is Ryu showing up so often? What the? F oh my god, That's Toji got a really good team. That's practically Tangro's team. Or more, I got fucking Mario's team. <laughs> That's even funnier. And he got a. Uh, is that. Ooh, is that Superior Spider Man? I think it is. Hey. Excellent costume. Oh, he got Tatsu assist. Well, that at least helps a little. Yeah, but he had Graham for Vodra, which is absolutely gross. That is a terrible assist. <laughs> Unless it works. You stay out there for like 30 seconds. It's so punishable. <laughs> oh, it's not Superior Spider-Man? It kind of looks like him. Like Superior Spider-Man after uh, Doc Ock gets out of his head. Sorry, spoilers for anyone who cares. I think so old, I think everybody knows the meme about it at this point. Oh no, he got shrapnel on Rocket. That is a very weird assist. No, and probably the Spider worst Man of the three. When, uh, Dr. Octavius takes over Peter Parker's body and he like redesigns his costume. Actually, yeah, you got probably the worst of the Rocket assist, considering both Gun and Pendulum are pretty good. I think it's oh. a spider -Man. I could be wrong about him. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Uh-oh. <laughs> we might see a uh, a game five. Oh, that's not a good That's idea. not going to work. 
Why are yeah, we just, just boot up uh, uh, Spider Man to on my PS5? I think that. Oh my god. Oh my god, god he got Virgil, Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider versus. Uh, does Sochi have a Morton? I'm doubtful. Because we know Toji has a She-Hulk, at least a red She-Hulk. Those characters are not even mildly similar outside of the normals. Beck. Morris played Ghost Rider a little during, like, uh, Probably points, like right? Or something. Ratio, yeah. But he definitely has. Oh my god. Just coming up with combos on the fly. <laughs> And that's not the best strange assist, but it's still pretty good. Nice read. Strange another character pretty good in this no. format because all of his assists are at least usable. Though daggers is not that great. The second time Zeno got Tentinal. See if it works out. I'm half expecting more to do like two down TAC so you can get more meter to try command grab. Oh, well, I mean, he's just zoning very effectively. Study Blaze rise again. Screw your yep. troubles. <clears throat> Ooh, nice good again. Oh my god, just slowly walking up. Oh, oh no. no. Level 3, level 3. Hey, smart. Toji does have a Morgan. Now we have Morgan versus fucking Ghost Rider. <laughs> uh oh, Xeno, what are you gonna do? Or, uh, Remora? This is just gonna end in tears no matter who wins at this point. <laughs> Guarantee he's gonna do level 3. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> He's just gonna kick. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kevin won that one in the long run. <laughs> Immediately checks of a throw. No OTG options. Has to just pressure the ball. Oh, no. He could have just done gamma whatever. You didn't expect the tiny ass zero body to fall out of everything. What a nuisance. Ooh, okay, it's going for zero. Robot on robot violence. Hey, he gets one out. Doesn't have to spend any more. Speaking of Santa, I gotta watch uh, X-Men later tonight. Probably. Ah, that cross up. You thought you were safe, and then you weren't. It's rather appropriate Hulk is dressed in mob attire. I'm definitely gonna watch it because I saw uh, fruity, you know, gasming over uh, Cyclops animation. You yeah, know, we have proof that Cyclops needs an air dash and pallet swap now. It has 10 episodes. I thought only the first two came out. Red! Keep the combo going with Dante too! But too late, he fell. He was spinning up in the air too long, but that was weird. anything. Wait, Dante has here. life? I can't see the Theoretical. pixel. Mathematically. Can he pick up after this? Nope, but the chip is relevant. Oh my god. Ooh. Oops, all birthdays. Please, someone clip that. We need that for like future, like you know, stories of like how two to max just killed someone. All right, everything went well to this time, but I think Yuli is going to take control if you give him the opportunity. So two to max to keep this pressure tight. Yeah, I always think Yuli. Uh, fighting against Yuli is just always like a two-front problem. First is getting past the zero and then saving what resources you can for his Virgil. Almost got the overhead. Ah, I'd... Get down here, boy. I guess the meterless extensions. Okay. 
I was like, he probably could have done a meterless, but you know, just spinning the bar to kill is completely worth it. He had all the layers he needed. Oh, oh my! His pressure God. doesn't stop. He just does two dash up mix ups and just goes for low, and the second one just wins. Okay, Disney Plus apparently. Uh. Okay, Yuli is definitely eating the cake here. Alright, like, Yuli finally gets a chance to play, I guess. Oh, is that hit? Of course it does. Did that hit Dante? Okay, no. Oh, it did? Oh, wait, no. Too late. But that's a pretty good trade for X Factor. Wow, oh, what a turnaround. Is he gonna snap in Virgil? Or is he just gonna, you know, take the force? You can rely on Gamma Crush here, I think. That's a lot of extra damage on that DHC. Thank you, Ash Sarah. Great clip. Oh my <laughs> god, you mad lad. He doesn't have any He's bar, gonna have though, to go for so... like some kind of TAC or reset. That's nah, not gonna be enough to kill, is it? It is! Maybe? Ooh, this is gonna be close. No! Oh, the last hit didn't connect, you and it let didn't him kill. Live. It's not his fault, the last hit didn't connect. <laughs> he had enough damage, theoretically. Okay, he gets one human rocket, and that's more than enough to kill, potentially. He is unleashed. Oh, we, he tried to... Hum oh. oh my god. He used the protection from the roll to get a throw. This man's scheming. Alright, and with that, I believe two to max takes it. Awesome. And a very, like, I'm not gonna say rare, but it doesn't happen very often that Yuli just got 3 0'd. Because on the other hand, Yuli is the one usually giving people the 3 0. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, two to max. Throng start. He's playing like that. He's gonna win number 61. The DXT's team is pretty sick. Cappy, can we I... just make this a random all tournament from now on? Can we just, a like, third... you know, pull an audible? Let's see. What's more likely, Art having a Felicia or DXP having a Thor? Um, I think DXP having a Phoenix is reasonable. Yeah, just top for five bars, it's true. And I mean, Task has pretty good keep away, meter building, and great HP, unless you spend all of your bar, but hey, winning's winning. Almost dead Spider Man. Good throw. Yeah, actual damage from Phoenix, good. Left swing. My birthday was actually three days ago. I wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> Yes, you did. And Laura everybody didn't who... give me anything. <laughs> no hoagie? No hoagies. No happy <laughs> birthdays. Hey, Fruity got me a birthday present, though. Thank you for the sub. Thank you, Fetus. And yep, DXP does have a Phoenix. Confirmed. All right, hold. Yeah, that's good. I think that's a pretty good team for DXP. And on art side, I don't know. I, I don't have a comment for that team. I I can probably say with 100% accuracy, I have never seen a team like Arts, even in random. I mean, uh, TA Pred used to play Hulk Chris. I do remember that. And 
Storm kind of goes of everybody because of the DHC options. But Magtron. Wait, no, Kobun. Doesn't Kobun play Magtron? Uh, I think so. It's been a while since I've seen Kobun, though. Uh, all okay. new, all different. That's what I thought. I couldn't remember exactly. There are too many variant Spider-Man name like yeah. costumes. Too many variant Spider-Mans. Too many different Spider-Man universes. What a uh -oh. great Magnum. Does not kill Chunli though. The XP actually has a decent Chris for what it is. And yeah, everything is better when you have Storm on the back. <laughs> Yeah, Storm doesn't do a whole lot for a lot of people, but damn, does she have a good uh, super. And Chris has a decent meter battery for that particular kind of synergy. Oh, getting that assist of Chris is actually kind of clutch. And actually, isn't Storm's uh, projectile assist, like, really good? It's, like, multi-hitting. Very durable. Just super slow. But uh, the DP assist on Chris is an excellent fall. He covers his head, which he needs. Nice grenade. Let's see if Art has, like, you know, the inner ab again for to come back. Nope. Flame Grenades is an excellent stop sign for Tron Bond. Okay, that uh, is good. I'll probably have to find. Oh my god. <laughs> More Thor! Yay! We got Team uh, fucking Coach Steve or LT plus Thor. <laughs> it's ratio LT when he doesn't have enough points to have his usual anchor. Hey, Art's team is pretty sick. Wolfie 23, Hawkeye. I feel like I saw somebody play this on Xbox Live when the game first came out. <laughs> okay, good assist on both sides. Ah, poison tip actually got one. He's a decent OGG. Just not great at neutral. <laughs> I don't want last. this character. I it's agree. Too much. Too much HP, I don't want this character. You <laughs> send him back. Oh. How to bankrupt your opponent's bar, send him for. Take all the meter. I do not see DXP having an actual Thor. Oh, he knows how to do Mjolnir's might. Or as Petus describes it, waiter, there's too much HP in my Thor soup. <laughs> oh no. Man throw? Oh. oh! He tried it, but uh, I think he did it too early. Interesting lockdown assist, if anything. Like, the only time I ever see, you know, Poison tip being used as, you know, the Spider-Man teams. Mm -hmm. It does, you know, give you a range OTG that does a, a good amount of damage if you have a long combo. But uh -oh. it's just not the other assists. Greyhound Ooh, or... Good punish. Cablero. Nice dive kick. Alright, but Spencer's coming in. You know, you can Bionic Arm through any problem, except if he gets hit. Well, at least the XP lost one, right? More matches. Oh my god. Okay, this is the bottom of the barrel. Another Hawkeye for Art, damn. Okay, he, he needs to get in Shinko, go cold, and, and pray that he has the right assist. He does not have the right assist. Though, if you must, Gong ain't the worst assist. Like, it's very usable. Shit, Firebrand would probably make these teams better. <laughs> Considerably. Oh, that is not the best assist to have on She-Hulk. She, she hangs out for so long. But Gong? Oh, not bad. Gong actually doing work. I mean, it bounces projectiles and it's very active. It's just going to be Gamma Crush, Gamma Crush. Ooh, and it is true, at least, that is a really good uh, super to make some form of synergy if almost any character. 
Because I feel like almost everyone can confirm after that. Why do I feel like EXP has a good She-Hulk? We're gonna press X to doubt, but I'd love to be wrong. I guess Art's pretty good with Hawkeye, though. He's correctly uh, uh, zoning. That's the word I was thinking of. But to say after this, uh, Art might pick up Hawkeye for real. It's just a <laughs> I think Hawkeye's a really good character, and yep. I just could never get around of you know just trying him. Uh oh. I'm not the worst Hawkeye, he just doesn't fit on any of my teams. <laughs> oh my god. Confirm! Oh, he didn't. <laughs> I'll do it. Won't kill just fucking t packs he Oh, he should have level, level three. three! He definitely tried <laughs> level three. Uh, Tuna Max, you have any... uh? Uh, character specialization Hulk tips for these two players. Wait, that worked. That's kind of smart. No. 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 doesn't put out a gong soon. He could potentially just lose this. He probably wants to lose this so he can play another match. <laughs> See? I don't see She-Hulk doing this. Nope. Doo -doo. <laughs> Pretty Fetus says, It's just that DXP and Art are dating, and don't want their main chickens to cause a rift in their relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Marvel dating sim when. Okay. Too beautiful to those, like... We've been seeing, like, just randoms getting uh, the same characters all night. Wait, is it, that, that, that's that's almost Team Punisher. Actually, yeah. <laughs> that's wild. Alright, I know I've said this to a lot of players, but I don't think Art has a MODOK. I can almost say that with 100% certainty. I bet you DXP has a Taskmaster, though. Oh, yeah. And that assist from uh, Task for Joe in particular isn't that bad. Joe can really make use of that coverage pretty well between his great air movement, his dive kicks, and his amazing stalls. Covering the head like that means you can really set up all the crosses you want. And yeah, I do feel like if you're not a very proficient Hawkeye, Joe can be a problem with you just so damn small. Oh, he forgot to super. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was like, get Modok in there and just make him a sacrificial, you know, uh, pawn. Because, like, I, I don't see Art playing Modok in any way, shape, or form. So glad Mothman doesn't have to be here to see this. Yeah, he's probably playing Street Fighter. Well, there goes the Modok. Brings in the spider. Um, X Factor, okay. Ooh, a little help from the assist to ground this character. Just what you need in this relationship. Oh, he has boomerang assist. I don't think he re remembers what button combination is the angled shot. Probably. That was a good X-Factor, though. He's burning for this X-Factor time. I think this just gives, like, grounds to Kevin running an actual all-random tournament uh, one day. It's just so much fun. Are you sure you don't mean grounds for diverse? Oh, you can use the... Ah, running sis sis. Damn it. Because it's fun, Kevin. You wanna... Yeah, but you can make it official. You well, can make a uh, Twitter DXB post now about it. in major danger of losing.
there's no way. I'll also be dropped. <laughs> All right, Hart takes it. Random is ugly. I call it fun. All right, here we go. Bald Snake versus uh, Mag. Yeah. They immediately kill the problem because Chris will have an easier time with almost anyone else on the roster that isn't Magneto. Yeah, true. I think he would have a little problem with Arthur, but I think everyone has a problem with Arthur, especially if he's powered up. Guaranteed chip kills. Yep. And he's to be body. Luckily, it's just as awkward for Arthur as it is for you, usually. Hey, Fruity, go ahead and start calling out people who haven't claimed the code. Shame them into giving up the free monies. Yeah, chat, if uh, if you don't redeem those Maturino codes, we're going to swap to either Suicide Squad or Skull and Bones, and we're going to <laughs> talk very slowly while playing it Yep. for 12 hours. Yeah, and this is just keep the pressure. As well. You don't have to even mix him. You just have to keep him from moving until he pops. Ooh, I think Paradigm forgot about the uh, grenade that he threw. Yeah, he's Legend still just, alive. Said it's fine. Legend's burning this clock, and there's nothing you can do about it if S Wesker is still up. Oh, he, well, he'll get the kill, but. Yep, that was a good break. Still, you are so susceptible to any magnum or flame damage while you are uh, unsure. Uh oh. I'm guessing that does a lot less damage if you're hit at the top. Evidently. Oh, no. He was able to block that because Akuma took the hit. Something rare for Akuma, but not unprecedented, apparently. Nope, watch out the grenade! <laughs> oh, you are so screwed. Oh, wow, wow nice. You, you cannot get touched while you are shirtless. Oh, no. Wait. Can you build a bar? He can build a bar. I don't know if it'll be enough to kill, though. Oh, it might be. Is he, yeah, he could have DP'd after that, too. Holy shit. I've seen random <laughs> tournaments and pixel Arthur comebacks. This is an interesting night. It's Wednesday, my dude. It's also a uh, March Marvel Madness. Yep. And you just feel the intelligence leave your head. Oh. That's an unfortunate drop, but if you keep it going, no one will have to know. If uh -oh. you do not keep it going. Hey, he does kill both of them, but you know, Arthur was an issue last time. He's, oh, he's about to get the yep. yeah. Is that actually a true unblockable or a hard to blockable? It's a hard to blockable. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Coaching. <laughs> uh, what we have Coach Steve, we can't have Coach Ramora. Daggers makes everything better. This is what always matters, getting rid of this anchor. Oh. Oh dear. I think Paradigm felt himself a little too much there. Nice chase. Ooh, went high, went low. I'll bring out all doesn't tools. have enough to kill, though. Yep, reset. Yep. This time, it is for sure. All right, Snake's going to put on his bandana, get infinite ammo. Never mind. Time to be Snake Eater. Oh, 
Oh, right. that actually reminds me. That could be another soundboard I can bug Kevin about. Kevin, <laughs> I request the soundboard of Snake saying Metal Gear. Wait, is this, Nick, to point out the obvious, if you have even your own server, you can just put it there, and if you I have Nitro, have you server. can play it. I'm not a, I'm I'm not a nerd. Make one, then. No! <laughs> That's for nerds! Okay, easy pick up here, and say goodbye to your anchor. <laughs> I can't be a nerd, or more thinks I'm a cop. You have to tell me if you're a cop right now. <laughs> I mean, I did try to take Remora to jail, but he didn't come with me. Jail is terrible. They only have the PlayStation 1 port. <laughs> I consider that a net win. You force the X Factor. Oh well. Didn't see a demon. Oh well. Okay, X Factor about to be out, and Akuma can be tagged at any time. And bye. Oh, my. Right, I'm got ahead of themselves, and Legend finding the excellent snipe to finish up. Two, two for both now. And again, not enough to kill. Goes to the snap instead. Wants the Akuma. Ooh, goes low. That's a smart thing to do against uh, Legend's Akuma. Except he's he's finding a way out here. <laughs> um, I don't know if he can get a confirmed happy birthday with that. That's nope. fine. Okay. He got out. He turned a bad situation into a remarkably good one. I am not a nerd. <laughs> I want to recount. Oh, don't shoot me. Hey, did Legend take the bait? Gets hit a little. Nice pickup. Comes that perfectly placed gunshot. And then goes for the pressure. Chip is very relevant now. Yep. Good throw. Oh, find a gap. Yeah, there's always a gap between the grenade shots. Oh no, oh. dropped. Oh no, happy birthday! Not a drop, it was all part of the plan. He saw into the future. It all falls apart at this point. Ooh. Nice fade back. Oh. oh my god. Any should be enough. Remora just having like a roller coaster of emotions in chat right now. Alrighty then, we can move. I think it's any given day that I um, see the regular DXP team on stream, and it's debatable if we will, but here's some more DX Chris. Uh, for a half second, I thought this was random walls again. Right, sets it up. Grenade. Goes for a raw cross under. The <laughs> link shots comment made me remember that one year at CEO where uh, uh, there was that. I don't know if it was a video or if the guy was actually there. I can't honestly remember. But it was like a dude saying like, "Hey, all you fighting game players, this is like some five stretches you can do for your wrist to prevent arthritis because we know you're fucking up your wrist at this point." I'm just imagining a wheelchair that has a built-in leverless controller. Okay. 
Well, this is what always happens with uh, this kind of team. You think you've gotten through it, and then the Virgil, but the XP doesn't care. Never cared. This is a match between him and a cup of Starbucks. Okay, flame grenade passing, not enough pressure to keep him out. You have to be relying on the one tool you can always hope to use against Zero, the flame grenade. As long as you have something to make his movement through traversal harder, you have a chance. Otherwise, this matchup's kind of doo-doo. There we go. Ooh. Chris cannot take more hits like that. Chip, very real factor now, and oh, we are getting a raid from EMP Obama. Thank you, Obama. We're just in time to see DXP playing his C team. This is the very talented JXP. Okay, goes with a full extension, has the gr Oh, that did not work at all. Keeps it safe. Goes for a cross, uses the grenade explosion. If all else fails, makes something out of anything, and... Wow, Vortex, very clutch time, getting him out of the major threat of that super. And then pulling back to respect the X-Factor option. If anybody knows Virgil, it's DXP. A great pickup for the launcher to punish. And Jay, uh, not okay, spending his X-Factor. We're dying. That will be two for DXP. And let's see if Jay can make it back. <clears throat> yep, last chance right here. Uh oh. Chris, the answer against Zero? Not the way DXP is playing him. <laughs> and this. Oh no, you dropped the combo. But this ought to kill or catch the hard tag. The extension? Nice confirm. Go twice. No way. I'm just gonna sacrifice zero. Unless he gets a happy fucking birthday. Send the bar. No. Don't get fancy. Yeah, one hit will chip here. Shot like a bird. Comes the result, but the last grenade. Yep, every single time. Again, Jay a little afraid to blow X Factor early. He's taking a lot of just chip and life loss here. Like I have five meters and I'm not afraid to use a DXP. Takes it. Three up. This is the most unhinged tournament I've ever watched in a while, to be completely honest. Well, uh, I think anything's potentially stopping him until the later part of Grand's here. He's just playing hot, hot, hot tonight. Comes the layers. Good luck, oh, Zeno. Be a random all. Nope. Fun cowards. Oh, that's a huge drop. You did like nothing the whole in terms of damage, and you're out of bar now. Yeah. I mean, he wouldn't have done anything even if it had bar to spend. Uh, hell, even with a throw like this, he's not gonna be able to kill. Here comes the drones mix. Where are you going? Where are you going? Gets the throw. Here comes the tag. Yep, fake the low. Went for the command grab. Oh, went the wrong direction. That's unfortunate. Human rocket. With the snipe. And oh, right into those drones. 
Yep. I don't know if that slide was accidental or he was just trying to clip the legs, but it was his downfall. Dante honestly has been the breadwinner here. Even in randoms, this character was putting in a lot of work, but can you break through the drone pressure? Because these layers are just going to keep coming if you can't find a gap. The dodge on the stinger. Oh, Ooh. nice throw. <laughs> you shot Hulk's Jays. Die. I can't do a Hulk voice either. I'm not a voice mm. actor. A minor stub on the toe. Hulk feel nothing. Hulk has gel souls. <laughs> but here we go. Right. The I other agree. major pressure. Uh oh. oh. Yeah, and you can confirm off of that because of the knockdowns. Good what idea. Is... That was actually <laughs> really smart by Tito Max. 100%. Awesome. Oh, Xeno you know, always wanted to get lost in the sauce. Good defensive. Then, where's the re? Again, relying on the patience and the defense here. Some of the major tools you are going to have against any Hulk player. He is still quite lumbering. Right, needs for like one more set of chip here, pretty much. That'll do. Gets the mid screen. Oh, cannot confirm the rest. Dude, Max getting a breather here. Trying to tag the assist. Drones to keep it packed. Dante about half health here. Good patience. Find the throw. Probably not be able to kill here, but optimal reset opportunity incoming. Very optimal. Goes to the mid. And now I... Ooh, too late on the OGG. A little awkward on that, confirm. But brings us to the drones. Oh, oh my god. He just caved in his skull. Jesus. A little bold to go for it again, but uh, really not punish that hard, so... Can you blame him? Can he get the rest? He can. I think of assist, this is probably enough. Just enough. Then sets the mix. Here comes these layers. Oh, that's it. Can't get much after it though. Have to hold these robotic hands. At this point, for uh, Tuda, everything is free real estate and just getting through the last of the sex factor so he can put on some pressure. Oh, oh no. He got inputs in the buffer. The worst problem. Because you know that was supposed to be fireable forward, but there was still a forward input. Alright, Deadpool versus Nova. Deadpool has a million bars. And an overhead. <laughs> Oh, it's in the air. I love that damn move. Good break. Ooh, good throw. Gets the ball. G into super. Yep. The one for Zeno. Oh yeah, psych. I've also noticed he likes to the, the, use the teleport somewhat uh, wildly. But it's working out for him at the moment. Finds the hit, gets the full confirm. Say goodbye to Deadpool, everyone.
Here comes the next layer. Ooh, Good. reads the throw, but button too slow. Yeah, but too slow, but Dante dead. Or snapped. I, the cross up. The cross under, I should say. Alright, Virgil's dead. All down to uh, Zeno's uh, Dante. And we're going to game five. Never mind. Commentator's curse. Still has drones, still has the big buttons. Oh. A catch? Nope. The decent checkmate idea. Unoptimal Deadpool in 2024 is crazy. You mean me? Is that your new name, Unoptimal Deadpool? Yeah, shit, that'd be pretty close to what it already is. Here we go. Last one. Two, two. Well, this is a strong start for Dumax. I refuse to get taught how to play Deadpool or any character. I just... I'm going to play my way and no one can say any different. <laughs> the kill looks begging, man. Ooh, good That's throw. Cool. Good snap. Pop Shredder is not a viable mix option. You scale the combo oh, no. so badly. You're goddamn right, Wedge. Oh, he's gonna try this again? This has dropped every other time he's tried it. Uh, 100 and... never mind. <laughs> I was gonna... that was the first TAC I've seen all night. Oh, Ooh, once again. Better. Nice. Past the pretty much snap there. Instant free damage button, always available. Good block. Nice throw. And has enough charge time. Let's go. Okay. All on Virgil, and this character always capable, but Tudor Max is cooking. Was cooking. Yeah, he went for a little mix-up there, but Virgil cares enough for your mix-up. Sword too big, oops. Oh my god, that was dirty. Ooh, good chase, though. Oh, oh just too you far. one more chance. X is done on Virgil. Oh, gets crowned, okay. That's, yeah. <laughs> it was a good idea, but the swords come out, you know, even if, I think even if uh, Virgil gets hit, yeah. Or maybe they go when he gets hit. I don't know. He just ripped off his arm. I think it was his son. If this is where the Cyber Ninja program is going, I want out. <laughs> God, the flame grenade. Solid Being Snake cares not for the ninja. Did you see what he did to Gray Fox? Solid Snake fights ninjas did all the time. Right in. I have to ask Nano Machine's son. All right, let's see if something goes different this time. Immediately sticking to the pressure. Still has no bar though, so would have to X. Doesn't want to do it. We great use the prone. I don't think that was on purpose. 
I think I can count on both my hands the amount of times the legend has actually gone prone on purpose. All right, very optimal stuff, and here comes the mix. Okay, glasses off. It's just the doom too. Extra bonus. And I'm, oh damn, he just with the photon shot. I think uh, Legend thought there may have been missiles coming down, so he didn't keep that combo going, but it all works out. Trying to be tricky. Oh, I thought that was a throw coming there. Uh -oh. Damn. One thing in life, Virgil will always drop just like a fat beat. Alright, good X Factor. Keep them safe. <laughs> Goddamn Madra. I love that assist. I'm glad Virgil doesn't have a Helmbreaker assist. Alright, one more mix. Touch of death. Very viable here. Oh, just going to jail. No, there's no bar for Strider. He's just oh, limiting he his button. options. Did he get no hit bar. on purpose to get out of the situation? No, I can't be think so. This is always the bad side of Strider when you are low on bar and no X Factor. You just your damage is so low until you get some bar. No house fails Tatsu. That thing is a huge hit sphere. Nah, Zeno, what you got to do with Deadpool is guns teleport and hope for the best. Works every time, trust me. Hold the wheel. Hey, yeah, mad wheel more. And when all fails, ninja gift the guns. Speaking of using teleporting combos, we're going for the mid screen snap. Good jail. Definitely going to get rid of Akuma. The longer you put your opponent in black stun, the more, you know, aggravating you become. So, when in doubt, piss him off. Oh, <laughs> the random cross-up. Oh, my God. Virgil and Max and Wesker with the weirdest supers, I swear. We tried to use the projectile counter there, but the thing hit really late. He got the back half, not the front half. That's what he wanted to do. We need to tag. Oh my god. Sometimes it wins, sometimes Vajra wins. But you will never be able to tell. What a confirm. Two guns. And take this to mid. Just enough. Okay, what's the mix? Has access to the mid teleport. What a checkmate. That worked perfectly. And X Factor guarantees this kill, and now it's mix time. Put down the flames, put down the mine. Layer the pressure. Flames are almost finishing it off right there. Ah, oh, I can't oh, no. confirm after the lead didn't come out. That ate a lot of X Factor time. And with how much HP Chris has, this is going to be a much harder opportunity. Yep, it's but... even more harder now. Wait. Oh, you cannot drop those, but keeps it together. One on the board for art. <laughs> I love how both Wedge and Psychilic are coaching Xeno in chat. What yeah. a great community we have. <laughs> if I had 6,000 more points, I would time out Salute for five minutes. I could shoot my players. And why didn't Salute in this bracket? I want to see some Chuma. Oh, yeah, you don't want to run into those photons, but hey, get the glasses. Oh, that counter did not go the way you wanted it. Oh, don't feel bad, Sick. Like, I don't listen to anyone who tries to coach me. <laughs> All my friends have given up. Ooh, there you go.
Nice adjust. Takes us to the mid-screen again, and just enough. <laughs> it's just Elbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, screw you, old man. I don't gotta listen to you. <laughs> Virgil bringing on his Nick Bad phase. <laughs> yeah, one more. Will do. Almost a good it's block. Yeah, you know, Tutamax actually has a point. The only person who could ever coach me and I'll actually listen is Tong because he just won't stop yelling at me. I'm winning at TNS9 team tournaments and he's still yelling at me. Sometimes your name just needs to be Nick Blasted, apparently. We are up. Wait, there's a character swap from Legend. Eh, maybe the take, a little, toss? take a little break. Could also be the Dante, or the Mag. Or actually, yeah, the Magneto movie. Yeah, MS is a problem. The Wesker snap is also kind of a problem sometimes. Rocks it. Take a quick hydrate and let's see what the difference will be. Two, two. Last set calls it. Oh, wow. Well, we know the snap button's working. Oh, gentlemen, it's the. Oh. That's not the worst way to nullify. I mean, it certainly didn't take that much damage or pressure from it. It's true. Nice. Nice throw break. Oh no, oh my god, no. I was going so well for a legend, but Arts can eat this. Oh, nope, nope. Commentator's curse. <laughs> Not a commentator, a commentator. You cursed the man, I did it. Ooh. I was like, Shrider might die, and then I'm like, wait a second, Maximum Wester sucks for, you know, killing a uh, assist. It does. Wow, that double teleport was perfectly spaced. But you see how Legend just literally kept his cool. He was in the middle of a happy birthday brought on by Virgil. Didn't lose it, didn't get discouraged, and now look at him. He's, I would say, winning the match at the moment, but you don't really win the match until like you actually win with these two players. He's also the only player I've ever seen so good at hopscotching his teleport. He went one teleport, slightly moved, then second teleport to avoid both the projectiles and punish Doom there. <laughs> Assist doing its job there and keeping him safe. But, oh, that was a weird route. Oh. X, there you go. <clears throat> All right. Good, hard-fought uh, hard match from both of them. Let's... Don't worry about the rock mode, it's over. Good block, though. For the Paradigm rocking the kiddo, I might have to say, Bubbo team. And she is front loading so much offense and it's very meter hungry, but the kind of pressure you get on the current team, even like DXPs, is legendary, so you have to suffer for this Virgil pressure for the possibility of just 300 percenting the rest of the team. And we'll see if Paradigm can level the storm. Yeah, the hacker always has like this way of like just being completely zoned for the entire match. And then gets in like that for free well not for free, but you know, changes the course of the match. Get the reset. Let's go. Oh my no, God, Strider says no. Wow, what a read. This is barely scaled, so full damage. And here comes the mix. 
goes for the liberation. Wants the bad matchup more than he wants the mix up. I respect this so much. He has a liberation on deck. Yep, Doom is dead. Might have like two hits left of the sphere flame. That three hits. That was close. And then always the has a liberation out. to break. First hand of Paradox. The X Factor Liberations are a hell of a drug. They do so much damage. What? Uh, is that supposed to happen or did his button just break? With the XP, I'm never too sure. You just power mash yourself into Problem Town? Oh. Did he alt tab? <laughs> Well, I guess since we're waiting on DXP, let's talk about Toast more. No, we're done. Is Churro a Toast? A seasoned Toast? It's a complicated story. Wait, is he reconnecting? Okay, DXP is going to quickly restart. Um, let's get a quick tally of what's your favorite thing to spread on toast. Yeah, I can't go <laughs> wrong with jam. Yeah, there's Emma Jam Chad. <laughs> Never wrong with butter. Styrofoam is bread. Stress or toast. Oh, no. I do love me a bagel. So, Fetus likes egg and milk on his toast. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah, I'll go to be basic and say Grape Jam. I like uh, Strawberry or Raspberry, whatever is at Costco. Churro-themed French toast. We just had baked cinnamon toast, uh, so like not so long ago. And obviously it's not fried, but close enough. I have never heard what I said. A Hong Kong-style French toast. I'd that eat that. mouthful. Oh, sorry, we gotta stop talking about toast. Might upset the chatters. Gotta go back to the match. <laughs> Once again, I have copy pastas about me, but almost no copy pastas of things I say. This is a good day. Shall we have a toast to the winner? I don't know. When you're playing Dormammu, everything becomes toast. How well done do you think toast gets with uh, Dormammu's chaotic flame? Uh, ka, you know, literally into another dimension of existence. Ooh, goes low. Open and a mop. That's Hefton Strider. Oh, just comes from the pile drop. driver. <laughs> Alright, dead ninja. And then mid screen still very good for the mix. Uh, I swear, isn't that like a meat bun? Or am I thinking of something else? Like Bow? Whoa. Bow can have almost anything <laughs> in it. <laughs> We got a first. The X Factor just completely running out. Um, super low to the ground uh. drop kick, but wait, he's got a chance. Chicken feet is not something I've tried before. It is on the list, though. You know what else is on this list? DXP making a comeback with Doom. Uh, first Paradigm has to contract the SDP, though. Wow. Ooh, Oxtail Soup. That sounds really good. Good block. 
chip. Such a factor here. Yeah, it goes for the defensive missiles. Uh -oh. oh, wait. He might There's be in the no donut. Punish? Oh, good block. The missiles saved his ass right there. Spear flame? Oh, this is so risky. Oh, he went for the grab. <laughs> Just gets checked with the crouching lights. Now, heart stopping moment. Paradigm is now up two. That's a really controversial uh, comment you just made there, Tree. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. <laughs> okay, DXP holding at this one bar, so he still has enough on tap even with the double trigger, and it's just the infiltration of Hagar. He's gonna win this election whether Virgil likes it or not. Now, oh my god, that was so risky. <laughs> it kind of looked like he just command grabbed his feet. That was he wasn't definitely even near him. Uh, the extension of the Helmbreaker does make him a little bit wider, but he could have easily just been hit by the blade. And yep, when you see Doom, bring in Dormammu as long as you've got Lariat on the back. Doom has so much trouble hurting you. Flame carpet. Oh, it's confirmed. And the, yep, Lariat. Always have the option. And Beam makes it even better. Oh my god, those missiles. <sighs> it did all nice that team. just for the fucking reset. Nice. The last thing you'd expect after being hit by every type of falling object at once. Yeah, seriously, falling rocks, falling spears, falling ninjas. Oh no! Wait out! Legion still sucks, but it did its job. Kept Hagger away. Has enough durability to check everything, so he gets the screen oh, reset no. he wants. And there goes the X Factor. Uh, answer Obama's question. I would say like any kind of like pastry, like you know, like little debbies and shit. I used to love those things. I can't stand them now. Uh, for me, it's some pop tart flavors. Oh, fuck yeah, Sunny D just tastes like chemicals now. Oh my god, that's true. Right, Paradigm goes on to... Yeah, shit, he's in grands. Yep. Anybody has worked for it, it's Paradigm. Every week, he puts out just a little bit more incredible. I, I might be way off. Three or four, and Remora probably has won ten. Probably more than ten. Yeah, that's probably what I'm thinking of. Yeah, all those zero, zero Doom Virgil players all kind of like meld together. One thing we at least can tell, Remora rocks the blue, so you know which one is which easily. Yeah, see, look, they all meld together that the names are missing, because they're all the same. <laughs> look, oh, now they are. anybody could be these two players. Yeah, Remora really don't like Letting Virgil's live, and when you play Zero, it's an option. It's always an option. So again, Moo, all right, one more. Ice adjust. Finds the height, finds the connect, and this is going to look pretty easy. I think we're going to see maybe the level three out of it. I'm not even betting who's going to win the match. I'm, I'm going to bet, like, is it going to be a 3-2 or a 3-0? Both options viable. The... Yuli knows this match. He's played Remora enough. It's just a matter of finding the connection he really needs. Alright, 
Nomura getting another early head start. Yeah, Remora's team is just literally three hits and he wins. Huh. Alright, I shouldn't say Remora's team, I'd just say like zero teams in general. He knows what's good, and what's good is exactly this kind of circumstance. The less you have to think about each character, the better. Every time I see these kind of teams, it's reminded me of a, a Florida player named Jay Weezy. He plays zero point, but his team is completely unorthodox. He plays zero point X23 Ryu Anchor. Like and I he is a madman. Alright, Sugemu immediately up. And that doesn't really pan up for Yuli, and Evermore's got the meter lead and the consistency of kill here. And you're still dealing with uh, assist punishes and missiles. Yuli's doing more at the moment this round. But, you know, it's literally more just needs one out of his three hits. Okay, missile's still present. Good chase. Wow. This snipes him out of the sky and confirms it. No problems here. Okay, just needs to build the one bar, but Missiles really cranks the meter build on the first half of this combo. Okay, Sagemu is available. And here it is. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Alright, one more hit. Good block. Oh my gosh, he confirmed that. Sigma move to just keep the pressure on. Doesn't want the sex factor to be relevant. All right, he is out of meter and out of single move, but not out of throws. Go. Won't even need this again move here. All right. As I called it, Ryu. Knocking Yuli out for the week. Thanks for playing, Yuli. You are always appreciated. Oh, that was well. Oh, Thank you, Mundank. No, both players lost, remember? Oh, shit, that's right. So, thank you, Mundank, for claiming that last code. Always clutch. This lose your colors? I thought it was lose your finals. Oh, wow. Nope, a little more to go. Uh, it's definitely... I, mean, I have just not cut out for this commentary thing, huh? Oh, shit, me. Gets the full relaunch. Gets the reset. Oh man, this is meterless. Why do I feel like uh, Virgil can actually get out of that setup? Or is it only I think a he can. Team? Okay, respecting the Dante drop there, but gets the throw anyway. <laughs> only so much respect you can hope to get. I'm going to be Mr. Meterless here, if you can help it. Ah, eh, still to spend one. Yeah. I mean, he's left with Thorn Mom. Wait, not Thorn Mom. I'm thinking of the last match, Jesus. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen Xeno use uh, Thorn Mom. I just saw the D and I immediately went to him. Alright, first game to Paradox. Uh, one of the things we have here at Bucky's is uh, they're called beaver nuts, <laughs> but they're kind of like uh, uh, honey almond puffs, I think, something like that. That's pleasant. They're really good. I mean, their jerky is absolutely stellar. Oh yeah. What also is stellar is you can always rely on a Virgil throw to give you everything you want. Mm. 
Hey, there's a Bucky's not that far away from CEO's uh, venue this year. It's a little bit of a trek, but still kind of there. Well, you can always rely. Level four, we'll get rid of the assist character, but um, X Factor really gets blown when you take a long cinematic super like that on the first character. Damn. What is Toji on? Going crazy. Oh, He's no. angry after Isisara handed him the room at the end of yesterday. Oh, no. All right, well, you know, there's always a possibility that Hagar will do level three. Never mind. <laughs> It's always a possibility that Virgil wins any given set, even when he's not present. Hell, Virgil would still win a match even if he's not selected. He would win on the character select screen. Good crap. Nice throw. I just feel Zeno really wanting to win it. Oh no. The Hagger hits Deadpool with his butt. Goes for the Virgil. Problem dealt with. Gonna go for the Dormammu extend. Oh wow. Just goes straight for the mix here. Yeah. Is it just me? Or is Paradigm doing like an absurd amount of grab resets today? Or tonight? You know, he's doing way more than usual. I think in the case specifically of Zeno, he's guessing that he doesn't know the timings yet. That would be my assumption is he's just skill checking Zeno because he has a feeling Zeno doesn't know. Good block. No, you can't do that against Hagar. I respect the attempt though. How many times has Tong done that to you? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I think my track record against Tong is actually pretty good. Alright, 2-1. Taking a breather. Take a quick drink. No, this is the confirm. Alright, back to nerf. I almost said nerfful. Back to neutral. Nice throw. It's crap. Paradigm's just like a heat seeking missile right now. If he moves, he will grab you. <laughs> Hagger and his two little boys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me or my sons ever oh, again. My sons, yeah. <laughs> Hacker has two sons, one that's into medieval stuff and one that's a furry. This sounds like an episode of Phineas and Verb. That was the bravest raw tag and one of the silliest unpunishes I have ever seen. Oh my god. Ooh. No! Oh no. You have to confirm those. Oh no. The grenade did not trade with the... Lo oh. I thought he was going to do another uh, grab reset. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it was just a little delayed. And he missed. What the hell is going on? Uh... Um. Okay. I think Paradigm will take this trade. Alright. Down to Hagar's uh, furry and medieval son. I mean, the funny thing is, uh, earlier versions of Rocket Raccoon, he's effectively dressed in medieval, like, Robin Hood wear, so... <laughs> it's more like two medieval Wait, sons and one furry. Confirmed off the uh, trap, too. Sick.
Alright, my favorite anchor, Deadpool's coming up, so let's see what happens. Anything could happen, but Daggers is a really strong check here. Uh, he's short. Good X. Oh no! I would have got away of it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. <laughs> Alright, half X is gone. Gonna come in with just a little bit. All right, he's out of teleports. Oh my god! I thought he was just gonna X to block it. Mad Lad did fucking DP. He DP DP. Then. This is the first time we're going to see this match tonight, is, uh, other players haven't been rocking. And Art's coming in very optimal. Art is angry that he's in losers. I can see that. Rectifying it, they are. Sets it up. Fruity, stop Just... eating our chatters. You're only supposed to lick them, not eat them. This is definitely someone who owns a dog here. <laughs> the hell no, I'm not able to resist a churro. I'm... I like churros so much, I oh, I paid the overpriced ones in Disney World. Those things are like $12 a piece. Get one more pickup here. Ah, still has to spend the bar just barely. Has Prince of Sogamu though. Wow, ah, so many layers. Just stop trying to block and smash it. It was definitely Art's attempt there, but uh, Remora has so many layers. Alright, what's the mix? Could cross, could go under, could fake. That's a cross, for sure. Alright, oh, has... Oh, no, he barely wasn't able to clear the screen in time. And that's another one for Remora. Patience, sets up the missile time, and wow, sneaky cross. Very dirty, Remora. <laughs> and then gets the extra extension for the last bit of bar. Buster? Oh, too high. Now he's getting hit for that. Okay, full optimization. Firing back, full cylinders here. Oh, taking advantage of everything. Camera does that. <laughs> and yeah, Vajra, but Array going to cover. I can't believe Virgil actually survived that. I know he traded, but still. Here comes the optimal. First time we're going to see Remora's Virgil this set, it looks like. Oh, for sure now. Oh, we're going to see it early. Oh my god. That was Remora a series of layered. unfortunate events for Remora. What were you supposed to do? High time there? Maybe I have a block? It's always an option. <laughs> it's a Virgil player. There's no such thing. Yeah, that's true. Virgil players need to hit a button like every microsecond or they fucking implode. Virgil players get angry when they don't get uh, a bill for their taxes because they didn't do taxes to feel pleasure. Hell, Virgil players start eye twitching whenever they're stopped at a red light. Of 
<laughs> oh, for sure. That's a good one, Sika. Like. <laughs> This one's looking much better for Art. Oh, finds all the answers they need. This is a very damaged Doom. Don't count him out, but uh, you can count him out now. Okay, I lied. Yeah, but is it really over if someone has an X-Factor Virgil? If you snap, no. Yep. No, he tried to hit a button again, but didn't respect the meme. Now Brown Paper Bag Doom is going to kill Virgil. Virgil players are the kind of people who, even when the fly is on their own face, still slap it as hard as they can. Alright, Art on uh, match point. Tony Killa, give her more of your power. He needs it. He has that he bought a t-shirt, you know, you can trust this man. It actually fits him too. Ooh, see, look what happens. Drop. Hey, don't worry, Zengup, you didn't miss anything on Monday because our palace hop was yesterday on Tuesday. See, you already caught up a little bit. All right. Oh, goes for the blast out option. Once again, virtual wow. players will swat their own face. There's a fly on it. Restraint is not in the books. Nice load of the grand pickup. Just enough damage. What's the mix? Cross up, stay in front. Layered, stay in front. Here comes the missiles. Okay. Oh, that They're is definitely one way to get out of that. Well, that did crush your X Factor time quite a bit. All right, had a few good blocks. What well, Strider doing? Strider stuff. Will not be able to build enough bars for orbs though. Get really close. And this combo takes so long. X Factor is going to pitter out just as the character comes in, and now Virgil's got his own blocking available. Wow, that was fast. Yep, yep. All right, game five. Here we go. I air options, but either player getting the hit they wanted off of that. So we had a fair exchange into nothing this time. Ooh, that's a strong starter. And extra bar build up from the Virgil. More than you can eat it. Oh. That mid height uh, pickup didn't quite work out, and the missile's gonna ruin this. Never mind. Yep, saw the missiles coming, just went for the most that damage you can one get. One super dude, like 60% of Zero's life. There was a lower HP oh character God. that was like unscaled. Alright, All right, relying on the pain train. Well, makes it a little bit more difficult. No, X Factor into no. That means art will progress. Some other cheese. Called Stella's spicy cheese bread. Out of the gate goes with the dunk. This man's watching March Madness basketball. He's got to reciprocate. Nope, I'm back. Okay, just made it in time. You missed the entire Ooh, discussion on grilled stuff. cheese. <sighs> I kind of want a grilled cheese. I made uh, one like three nights ago. So I was really lazy and didn't feel like cooking after I got home from work. 
a, uh, my favorite lazy meal is I just make uh, noodles and sausage with tomato sauce, but I defrost the sausage in the same water I cook the noodles in. Ow, look at that. Drones pick up, perfectly gets the height right. Oh. Might not make a grilled cheese after this. I might make a quesadilla. That sounds good, too. Legend's <laughs> doing all the right things here, but it's Hulk time. Nope, it's Wesker time. And uh, Whackbot we trust, specifically Tudamaxes. This character has put in so much work. <laughs> Guys, a quesadilla is a grilled cheese and a Pop-Tart is a ravioli. Just get over it. Could hit finds the little gap on the hook and if there's one thing that chris does well damage he's gonna have the bar he needs to kill this character oh snap i just want to keep making like random <laughs> uh food like quotes just to piss off like. you will not say a hot dog is a sandwich i swear to you. hot dog is a sandwich adjacent Okay, three bars. This is a kill. I told you, uh, a hot dog is in fact a sausage holster that is edible. Okay, X true. Factor Hulk. If you put a regular slice of bread between two slices of toast, it is a sandwich. Fidesz, right, tortilla is bread. The only difference is it doesn't leaven. The same basic ingredients. <laughs> focusing on legend is woken up and woken up pretty hard here they're just really checking all of these options very effectively oh surprise magnum my favorite kind yeah Tony Gillen, we always play with like uh, the additional costumes and stuff Shout out to Moo, Glass, and a few of our other amazing customers. Nice throw. Pressure. Look at that perfectly spaced shield layers. Oh, not required, but not punished either. Ooh, nice throw. Good snap. Oh, wow. He wow. actually got the unfly. One bar. Akuma will die in that little. Okay. I think that's the first time Tumac has actually done a command throw this entire night. Intentionally, at least. Mm. Going on the food stuff. Is ketchup just a tomato smoothie? No. 
It's pickled tomatoes. Wow, Point Sentinel is pretty brave when you're fighting a Wesker. Wait, so if you toast bread and it becomes toast, if you toast a tortilla, does it become chips? Actually, yes. I've done that before. So, is toast chips? You missed the line of logic there. Anyway, speaking of lines of logic, that is a strong confirmed charger. No, we will. We refuse to focus on the game. We're talking this about toast. This is the perfect toaster. Sentinel. He slices. He dices. He turns Akuma into more toast. Who to toast? <laughs> Akuma probably likes his toast like burnt black. And he he uses his own hands, rubbing them really fast. Oh, the toast. shimmy. There's two to max guys, kind of max right now. Ooh, that was a tricky unfly. Ooh, nice pull. And he's got the level three, so Whackbot is whack dead. Oh, he's hella dead. <laughs> Leaving lasagna? Why you gotta do a man like that? <laughs> If you toast a bagel, is a toast. It's a toasted bagel. Yeah, but isn't bagel basically you know, bread? Toast is a, a modifier. It's not a singular thing, even if you can short form it. You can also say toast tomatoes. You can toast avocados. Oh wow, just... Sometimes the simplest things work incredibly well under high pressure scenarios, is that if you're not putting too many situations where you're oh, stressed no. and get to... I lied. I totally lied. That speech wasn't going anywhere. That's probably, <laughs> like, the worst situation for Legend. His Wesker Those... can still do work. Indeed, he can. X Factor still on the docket. Ooh, X. Oh no. He does it again. Just don't of care. Of course, he does it again. Crazy man. The man from the land of Motown. He just don't care. Eh. I mean, you don't have to watch the stream. You fuck off for all I care. And there we go, 11, oh, geez, 11 Legend. This could be his night. If you don't want to commentate, we're the only people who wants to commentate. No one else does. Shit, you get on here. We can have a three-way commentator. Ah, uh, okay. Deep fried ice cream is pretty good, though. Well, this is perhaps one of the largest hurdles still for Paradigm at this point. Art's been playing consistently, and all of his characters are putting in so much work on any uh, team. And just every little piece of fundamental, every piece of like tech. You can just feel that Art's on a pretty good night right now. Uh oh. Almost kill Strider for that. Rare drop from Paradigm, though. Damn. Hagger just straight up hyped uh, Strider. Don't take that out of context. 
certainly shared some pipe with them. You just take like a bowl of ice cream and you dip it in batter and you fry it. Yep, it's the breading, like a very solid uh, stiff crumb breading that keeps it covered. Okay. It was going bad for Art, but wow, what a comeback. Alright, Art takes the first game. I tried deep fried watermelon, but it wasn't that good. That just doesn't feel like it would work. Oh, I fucking love that at Don Low. You fried pickles for one of the saddest experiences of my life. That is a freaking sentence. Alright, is he gonna pop X here and kill off Romamu? Hey, Zetsu! Thanks for the. Welcome was back. It, Yep, shout out to Zetsu. He actually made it to TNS9. I met him. He was really cool. Incredibly cool. We talked to him pretty, about D&D for like an hour. <laughs> Nerd. Get out of my level. <laughs> wow. Just when you thought you had it all, Hagar takes it away. Just like politics. Well, he is a politician. Wait, are mayors considered politicians? Yeah, they have to be, right? Yes, <laughs> they're an elected official. They have to yeah, be. that's true. I don't know, like, every time I hear politician, it's just, like, fucking senator. Like, that's what immediately comes to my mind. Good the chicken block. You stay weathering uh, the storm. Stand blocking Strider is almost impossible with Dormammu, but chicken blocking can make it work. He doesn't trust the Legion. Hagger, but there is no way in hell this is going to kill him unless he pops an X-Factor and does like two down TAC. Oh, there's one up TAC. And infinite might do it. Be a really long infinite, though. Shit, this is probably going to be like 160 at least. Ah, oh, boo! He didn't do the entire thing. The worst super in this game? It's gotta be Nemesis level 3. Even more than Deadpool? Yeah. Yeah, Shogun has a point though. Thor's uh, magnetic no, shockwave is just, yeah, it's pretty ass. Okay, OTG. Oh, did it a little too early. Oh. Mongolian shot. <laughs> Why Mongolian? <laughs> yeah. But the thing about, like, between Firebrand and Nemesis level 3, I think Firebrand's level 3 still does something. There are some theoretical situations you can set up with it where it's scary. It's just they're very specific. It's a niche tool at best. 
two dudes are just feeling. Come on, kill. There you go. I mean, oh, when you're playing this particular shell, it's really about setting up the uh, positioning and the bar. Pretty good breakaway. And now he just needs to build some spells or some snipes. Oh my god, that was almost terrible on that Virgil assist pickup. Oh. You gonna be able to avoid that? Ooh. Yeah, I had to adjust. It's a good X Factor too because time is becoming a factor. Oh, there goes the assist. Oh no, we got tagged somehow. I thought it was blocking. I think the uh, Doom super up in the air hit him. Alright, Ark takes it. Incredible. Actually, it's really interesting how many uh, moves are shared between uh, Mega Man and Double May Cry. We both have a somewhat similar mechanic about getting boss powers. Capcom makes mechanics and just copies them with different games. <laughs> I mean, uh, like X also has the has everything but the Tatsu. He has the DP and the Hadoken, and he also has a, a doppelganger move from I think good attack. three. I have I like how both players actually swap their uh, teams around just to play each other. Because like if Tutamax was using his Hulk team against Dormammu, it would just be painful. Mm -hmm. And, um, honestly, it's a good look to put Virgil behind uh, Nova. Ooh, crystal hits. Nice. Um, this probably be able to kill with level 3. One more. Oh, no. Goes for a snap. Okay. What the hell? That's like the Milky Special. You can force that to launch them back into the corner. Let's just call that the Milkshake. My eyes bugged out. I actually kind of like that. Oh. Here comes one last chance to cook. And Art is putting on the frying pan here. That's exactly what you want to have in a dorm, is to put them to full screen and have access to missiles and spell charges. Yeah. That's what the hell is Doom supposed to do? Suffer. <laughs> he builds so much bar anytime he gets caught in the middle of the storm. Ooh, good grab. Nice. Oh, oh too far. The layers continue. Uh -oh. This is the double cross. Oh, Thank you, missile. Everything. Oh shit! That was a good H by uh, Peter Mac. Okay, Virgil can make it happen, but um, uh -oh. you gotta watch out for this. He's just gonna wear through your X Factor time and have spells to back it. Oh yeah, because he could probably go like for a mix up or charge up that. So. Liberation, baby! Oh, oh no. And this is how Tutor Max wins a game. You really got some uh, excellent chip on that. <laughs> oh no, the Hellbreaker. Alright, so yeah. he has no meter and he's out of DT now. <laughs> <laughs> It's still Keep like it, foot dive. It's always expected and always so anticlimactic. <laughs> What's even funnier about this whole situation is Maximilian got uh, ultimate early to do the ultimate assist to me, and even he was just talking about how ridiculous the Doom buff to foot dive was, and it still held true even after the game's been out for so long. <laughs> 
Oh, we also got to claim a code for Zula. Anything for Zula. I just did. Yep, for those who don't know, Zula is a Japanese Marvel player that runs a... I don't know if it's a weekly tournament, I guess it is. Mm -hmm. That Remora's crazy ass joins and plays at 160 MS. But I understand he still takes names. Crystal dead, Doom dead, Liberation. Fantastic grab. And you get even more spells. Yep. Oh, you did the corner combo. Sick. Oh no! The only good thing about Virgil is that he can be hit multiple times by the flame carpet. Factor. <laughs> That's smart. Wow. Get him back to make it. Player one wins. No one. An attempt, but uh, wow. I said Art's on his game right now. Yeah, how many times has Art done 3 0 tonight? It's got to be at least three or four right now. He is, in fact, paying to Alice swap because he's scared. Yeah, that's how you start it, playing grenades. An excellent tool here. Oh yeah, fire's really effective against Virgil who's wearing a brown paper bag. Ah, the non-mutant Marvel. <laughs> what? Yeah. Thank you, Clegg Madness, for gifting a sub to Wedge. Hey, Wedge will look great that. players. All right, this should be the end of Chris. Uh, actually, will he snap? No, nah, he's just going for the kill. Okay. I just want the most optimal route. Dr. Doom, Maximum Wesker and Sick Hill, and we got Strider coming up with four bars and X-Factor. Ooh, what a grab. The patience of Legend. Alright, first game to Legend. Early Swords does not get the, uh, what's it, the happy birthday. Somehow, Akuma just fell out. The reset. reset. That's what Strider does with this team. It gives you the ability to really do weird stuff like that and stick at the confirm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's dropped though. Uh, is he gonna get Chris out or are you just gonna sacrifice him? Grenades. Okay. I don't think that's exactly what he planned, but it still kind of worked. Nice snipe. Parsec gods did not shine brightly down on Tuta Max this evening. Nope. I'm looking forward to seeing Tuta in a live tournament setting at some point. 
Is Tudamax gonna go to CEO? Maybe Combo Breaker? Who knows? I wish I could go to Combo Breaker. I just don't have the money for it. Yeah, somehow the Chicago hotels are more expensive than Orlando. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Went to the Kentucky offline tournament and won. I can honestly say I believe you 100%. Also, I don't know any players from Kentucky. Hey, he sets it up. Here comes the flame grenades. Oh. Getting caught in all the chip here. Yep, it's a lockdown. Alright, Chris is down, Akuma is coming in. He has no X Factor though. But it might not be a problem. Uh oh. Oh no. He's out? Nice punish. The custom combo this entire way. Does Legion oh. suck? Nope, not tonight. It's Akuma. And Tutamax, did you basically just go to essentially a local and just whip all their asses? Is that essentially what happened at this Kentucky offline? <laughs> Man, they call me the villain. This goes, they're like, who the heck are you? And Tutamax is like, you really don't know who I am. The man gonna kick every single one of yours asses. <laughs> and the nice homies over at QCS are doing the uh, Miss South Outlaws. That ought to be it. It's gonna be a smaller tournament, but it still should be pretty good. Yeah, April 13th, that's pretty close. Very close. Speaking of very close, uh, kill guaranteed. Yep. Already has five meter, but he wants more. Make it a little harder now, you have to go for the Virgil stuff. Masker just refusing to die on that pixel health. HP, oh my gosh. Classic Strider moment. Yeah, just nice a little style points. All right, art up two one. Oh, and a perfect two. Player one wins. He dared to challenge the son of Sparta. All right, will we see a reset or will we make a comeback? Looking like a reset so far. Getting the optimals. Good. Oh, that's reset. a reset. Doom did a cross under in the corner while calling Vodra. Very sick. Goes for one more. I need to suppress options here and just keep building the bar. Yeah. Yeah, both players are really good, but like me personally, I'm voting, or not voting, I'm rooting for uh, Legend. Not because I don't like Heart, I just, I like Legend more. <laughs> he doesn't play I'm rooting. Virgil for both, but Legend is my region, sort of, so. Eh, it might be his his day, uh, Fruity. This might be the week he wins. Oh, got out of the turn. Sorry, not the turn. He just got out of the combo. Excellent defense as always from Legend. Oh no! That it was a good Strider. idea, but Vajra ruined it. Remember when we were like, oh, because you could only get the knockdown while airborne, Vajra isn't that good? I God, we were stupid. That. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember when everyone thought Doom was ass and a half when the game first came out. Or, like, I think the best one was of Virgil. Like the first two months, people are like, "Well, theoretically, he's really strong, but uh, I mean, he's so execution heavy, and swords are hard to use." <laughs> God, we were dumb. Oh.
Alright, I'm not gonna sit. What a grab. <laughs> Why are their swords still there? Because <laughs> blistering swords is two bars, so you get no, like, the gourmet the treatment. <laughs> it's like the swords were just like, it's like, yeah, go ahead and try hitting them. Alright, so we are now on to how Kevin dub dubs it the true final. So tell me one more time, who do you like? Living legend or artistic? Yeah, ask her hands. Hey, Mothman. Yo, Mothman. Just in time for Grand Finals, Mothman. We have Art starting the clinic. That might not hit. Oh, no. Good block from Chris. Sorry, not Chris. Uh, Legend. But, you know, of course, why did he fall from the back of Virgil into front of Virgil? What is this character? Make sword. You gotta make sword. Everything yeah. is better when you make sword. Yeah, make sword. <laughs> Alright, all down the whisker. Okay, so what hit him? Was that Badra or foot was dive. it Foot Dive? It was Foot Dive. You you have so much time to pick up after foot dive. <laughs> oh. Good snap. Oh, happy birthday. Good start. Legend don't hear no bell. Rare time I've ever seen Legend use Jaguar Dash. Legend did not hear any bells. Alright, first game of the Legend. And his pressure. Saves Akuma. Oh. I was gonna say that might have been a dead rider. Super close. Optimal stuff again. Needs it too. He's not gonna build much bar here. One more pickup of Virgil, I think. That's the snap. Good block. Also a good block. Oh, no, it wasn't close enough. Foot dive. Yeah, foot dive. Huh. I don't know if that's fatigue setting on Art's side, but he's dropped, uh, unfortunately, a little bit, you know, too many combos so far. Doom is a little unhealthy at the moment, but it's keeping a space. That's these resources, too. Low commitment, high gains. And this is, I guess you would say, like, the one thing Legends team can't do is, like, fight someone in the air. Other than, you know, like, jump Magnum or jump Maximum Wesker or something like that. Yeah, the best way they fight airborne characters is just build the life lead and make them chase you. Nice. Go from side to AC. Almost. That was a very, very good confirm. Good correction on artistic side, too. Not a drop, it's a tactical reset. Yeah, an American reset. The most American reset. My god, that S. Oh no, it did not kill. He's gonna DP. Oh, I thought he was gonna confirm that. Yep, slide into X. Kill the Akuma. Bring in X Factor Chris. What Ow. side was that? <laughs> no one will know. Strider. Was... Be super careful. Flame Grenade gets in there. It's gonna get both of you. 
<laughs> chip on that. Yeah, yeah. He gets like 200% damage when he's an X Factor, but at speed, so. Might as well. Might nice grab. counter throw. And eight seconds on the clock. I think even Legion will keep the jail pretty well here. Oh no. Oh, okay. We'll take it. I don't think that dash was supposed to be a flamethrower. I feel it was supposed to be a throw, but, you know, Art just got it instead. The issue with directional normals on heavy button. All right, game point for Art. <laughs> we set to assert dominance. Sure. T-pose over the opponent to assert dominance. He's got like two clean hits, but uh, he didn't believe in himself, so it was just resets. Is it one? Shit. I need to go to bed. I can't count. I can't commentate. Both players are dropping a little more. I think it's a equal-ended fatigue. It's late, specifically for Legend. But I mean, he's making it as hard as possible to get these punishes. Make him work for it. All right. Here's that. Comes Wesker. Again, I don't know how he steals a corner like that, but you have Doom Magic, I guess. Dash under, and then call Vajra. I don't think anyone calls him smartistic. Sounds like the kind of place you get sketchy phones from. Alright. Strider is gone. Still has Virgil, though. Yeah, just wearing through the X Factor. Oh. Face of the dash. Oh. oh my god. Teleported through the Helmbreaker. Okay. I like this match much better than. Uh, you know, Akuma versus Virgil. Akuma versus Doom is a little bit better, in my opinion. And X Factor is still a factor, but the inability to be chipped or like hit all at this point is going to make it a lot harder. The Yellow Beam is a very viable tactic right now. Neutrals yeah. for squares. Oh, got the butter gun hit. No, oh. clips the feet. I mean, okay, Hokage Strider says they call him Smartistic. Alright, first clean hit on Chris. Already down to half health. Good block. I call him he's artistic. gonna go up for like a throw, but smartly blocks the uh, call on the hard tag. Is he call him Strider? Yep. Legend did a lot of damage, but our team is healing. Uh oh. No. He, oh, oh, what the Let's heck? Let's live. And he, he low profiled the Magnum. Are you kidding me? That was cheap. I cannot believe Legend managed to get through that. Okay, time for Wesker. <laughs> when in Fantastic doubt, oh. match. Players are bringing out every tool they have. Oh my god! I could not block that. <laughs> That was some like DBFZ fucking cross up. <laughs> One more. Good try. Oh, he actually got caught. Interesting. He's not gonna kill though. Damn near close. Still puts up sword. Don't care. Caring right. for people Arts who don't have swords. Is now over. <laughs> Uh, can he kill off this? I don't think no, so. No, I think but he's going to run the clock as long as he can on this combo. He's going to be damn near close to a kill, and for sure all the X-Factor time when we're watching Machine. Oh, no. Very smart. Just fucking kill. Hey. 
Uh oh. Drops it. Stressful. No. Oh. Oh, this is, this is getting risky. The... Sure, one hit, but one hit on the other side, ah, too. Ah, the satellite. satellite takes it. What a fucking nail biter. Congratulations, then, to Art. The reason they call him Art is because this man knows how to draw a chalk outline. All right, so it. your winner for X Factory number 61 is Artistic, a legend runner-up in second place, and to the max.